This tutorial is to show you how to create a Bitcoin wallet and also do a few things like send and receive cryptocurrency with your mobile phone. So I'm going to use blockchain wallet which is the most popular out there. So to do this, go to your app store, mobile app store, type blockchain. We are looking for this one, blockchain wallet. So install it. So once it finished installing, click on open. Sorry, I had to do these things beforehand because um, blockchain disables by default screen recording. So I had to log in and remove it from setting. So click on open. Once you click on open, it will tell you to either create an account or to log into your account. If you already created this blockchain from computer, you may need to pair it with your computer. But if you have not done anything with computer, you are here. Just create a new account if this is your first time. Mobile phone for me is most convenient. It's most convenient. That's what I use often. So now when you want to create an account it will ask you to put your username e uh, sorry email password you know just do that after that you should be able to log in on logging in it will ask you to choose security pin like four p four digits you have to put and then confirm it you are in once you get in into blockchain this is how your dashboard will look like or you, this is your home page so take note of all these things here okay these are the few menus you have to navigate with. So you are now at home by default. So you'll be able to see um, your total balance. As you can see, this account has zero balance, right? So up to today. Then the first thing you want to do is to go to settings. Go to settings, click, click here. Then go to settings. You want to um, verify your email. Make sure that your email is verified. Your mobile phone is verified. They will, all, they will send you codes and then you confirm all these things. Another important thing is this. This is your, a lot of people make this mistake. This is your wallet ID. This is not your Bitcoin address, guys. A lot of people, when they create this account, they just copy this thing and send to somebody. This is your wallet ID. Okay. It identifies your wallet. This is not your Bitcoin address, please. Don't copy this and send to somebody. You will need this if you are logging in on computer or something like that. Or even to identify your wallet. Please note this. This is just your wallet ID and not your Bitcoin address. So once you have done these things here, go back. Then we are back at home page. Now, the main basic function of um, Bitcoin uh, wallet is to send and receive Bitcoin, right? So... To receive Bitcoin, to receive Bitcoin, click on this place, receive, you see, receive, you see what happens, it pops up a barcode and then an address, this is your Bitcoin address, this here is your Bitcoin address, sorry, this is your Bitcoin address. So all you need to do, if you want to receive a uh, Bitcoin, you just need to copy it and send to that person. How do you copy it? If you tap on it, it will say copy this address to the clipboard. If so, be advised that other application, blah, blah, blah. Just say yes. Click on yes. You see, copy to clipboard. You see, you, did you see that confirmation? Copy to clipboard. Now, all you need to do now, go and send it to the person maybe on whatsapp or anywhere you want to send it that's your bitcoin address okay please never you type these things never you type this thing with hands you will make mistakes i promise you so whenever you copy this thing make sure you also confirm that the last three q 5p ig q they are you know correct so that you don't omit some all right so this is how to receive bitcoin just send it to that person okay then it's done then another thing you want to learn how to do is to send bitcoin if you want to send bitcoin also click here okay where the road sends 
click on send okay now you have to put in the bitcoin address the person you are sending this bitcoin sent you and then type in the amount of money dollar or in bitcoin you can also type it in in bitcoin or in dollar it will calculate it will show you the fee the fee will be small depending on the amount of the transaction you are making you can also adjust the fee you want it to be faster priority but don't do it regular is okay all right and this sense now this is one of the most important features of using a mobile phone to make payments if you want to make a payment, maybe you are using your laptop, which I do a lot of time. So once I get to the payment page, it will show me a barcode and also a Bitcoin address where to send the payment or barcode. I have the option of copying the Bitcoin address, coming here and pasting it here. But also I have the most convenient option of scanning the barcode I'm seeing on my computer. So that's what I normally do. So once I get to the payment page of my computer, I will open my Bitcoin wallet on my mobile phone. Now, all you need to do is, you will see this barcode sign on top. Just click on it. If you click on it, it will pop up. You see? Now let me scan this one. You see, it scans that already, right? Now, so once you scan that, it will pick the address the bitcoin address if there is amount of money stipulated it will pick it here all you need to do is to click continue it confirms and sends so you don't need to type too much so let's do it again let's say you are making payment in one of the websites maybe fs farms or anywhere all you need to do is to once you get to the payment page on that website come here and click on send sorry you don't even need to click on send because from home page this thing is already there the barcode is always there waiting for you to tap on it anywhere you are on this website you see the barcode is always there so all you need to do is to once you get to the payment page click on the barcodes okay it pops up then go and scan if it scans check here make sure that the address is collected here and then you see the amount click send it sends right so this is just that that is how to you know use blockchain bitcoin wallet or your mobile phone other things you could still go back to this tab very important aspect and this is why you are using um blockchain if you go to settings here you will see backup phones this is one of the first things you have to do this will generate 24 sorry 12 words for you 12 phrases for you you have to write it down and hide it somewhere where nobody will see it you will need this let's say you have money on your bitcoin wallet and something happens to blockchain you will use this 12 words to go to any wallet bitcoin wallet compatible that is not even blockchain or blockchain you will recover your money so if you click on the back of back of funds now you see i have already done my said my done Lo okay so if you want to generate it you will click on it it will start showing you characters number one apple number two whatever just write them down hide it somewhere this is your back of phrase if anything happens to your account or even if blockchain stops today no problems you will be able to recover your funds right um what else is important I think this is basically that um, maybe addresses, maybe wondering what is this addresses. Here you can create different addresses for different stops, like for spending, for for trading, for one investment program or the other. So if you click on address, you see I have two addresses. This is my main address. This is the one I just used for someone and I have multiple, you can have many addresses. I have a lot of them in my other wallet. So here you will be able to, you know, add some addresses and then you will be able to know, track the fonts that are going into them. It's not necessary anyway, you can just continue using the default. The one last thing I want to talk about before I end this video is activity from activity tab you will be able to see your transaction history 
so as you can see it will show you both send receive all your, your recent transaction right you can see all the transactions i've been making so this is important if you make payment if you made payment to someone and that person maybe the payment is not being received or you have not received what you wanted the person may say send me the transaction hash okay all you need to do is if this is the payment you made you are looking for click on it click on it you see it says complete but maybe the person has not seen it for one thing or the other no problems all you need to do is to scroll down click on view on blockchain you want to get the transaction hash so if you click on it it will open on blockchain explorer you see once it opens on blockchain explorer you all you need to do is to copy this this is your transaction hash see so copy this thing maybe click on this on this it will copy let me just be watching now so it has copied you can pay you you could send it to that person alternatively just click on the browser here and copy all the full the full parts so that the person doesn't need to copy it at best the person just needs to click on it it opens so if you click on here you'll be able to copy it look at here just click. if you click here you see url copy just send it to that person the person will click on it and see where your what happened with the transaction um let me do this again so you go to your activity go to your activity all right i want to confirm this payment i want to know what happened with this payment so you want to get your transaction hash click on it then scroll down click on view on blockchain and then click on on your browser just click inside the browser click on this now it has copied the the full part send it to that person and the person will be able to come see that your payment was successful i hope this was helpful now you can go about sending and receiving bitcoin i believe so thank you for viewing bye bye